I'm Sarah. I'm a librarian at the Port Angeles Main Library. I have a couple of books I wanted to share. They're all by the author Charlotte Perkins Gilman. The first is this title, Her Land. It is a satirical story about a feminist utopia. The author wrote it in 1915. Charlotte Perkin Perkins Gilman lived from 1860 to 1935, and she was a very active writer. She wrote over 130 short stories. She wrote 500 poems. Um, and during her lifetime, she was known for her nonfiction writing on social issues, but she's more well known now for these couple of fiction works that she wrote. Um, so Her Land, like I said, is a satire about a feminist utopia um, that is discovered by a couple of young, hot-headed American explorer college-type guys. Um, and then the story um, finishes in the sequel, which is called With Her in Our Land. Um, I think that these books would provide a lot of um, material to discuss, especially for any book groups that were interested or looking for content. They're interesting because, uh, especially in the second book, the author talks a lot about social issues which we're still dealing with. Um, you know, how can a child learn effectively and grow up to become a productive member of society if they don't have a, a you know, hot, healthy breakfast? And these were things that she was writing about in 1915 and that we're still talking about. Um, so it's really interesting. Um, the second book, modern readers might find a little bit dry. It's predominantly um, reported dialogue between the narrator, who is one of the American explorers who uh, finds her land in the first book, and his wife, who um, comes from her land to see the rest of the world and who is going to report back to her country about the state um, of the world and whether or not they should come forward and be recognized as a country and participate in world politics. Um, so it, there's not a lot of adventure. It's just a lot of talking about everything that she's discovering in the world. Um, the third book that goes with these uh, is called Moving the Mountain. And this one was actually written first. It's uh, 1911, and it was a utopian story that the author wrote about 1940. So I haven't read this one yet. It would be really interesting to read what she, writing in the early 1910s, um, was hoping for for 30 years in her own future. Um, in all these books, but especially in Moving the Mountain, um, I haven't read this one yet, but from reviews and commentary, um, the author has, um, first, a lot of great observations and commentary about social issues, but she also does have some suggestions that uh, are not currently in vogue that reflect um, the thinking of her time. So, for example, in Moving the Mountain, there are ideas about eugenics that she proposes, um, not necessarily something that we would suggest as the best way to move forward, but it would be uh, ge certainly generate a lot of discussion among um, a small book group. So if you had a couple of friends that you wanted to uh, just check these out, you don't have to be a book group that meets every month, but it would certainly be, uh, it would certainly give you something to talk about, and if you just want to read it by yourself, something to think about.